In this video, part two of our series on 7G transmission ECU electrics plate, we will illustrate how to remove and replace it from the valve body. Reviewing the replacement part, you can see that only the ECU and connector will be replaced. Begin by removing the T40 Torx solenoid fasteners and hold down brackets. Then, remove each solenoid from the valve body. When removing, be sure to place them in the order they were removed, as mixing up a solenoid location when reinstalling can cause shift issues. We prefer to lay them in the order they were removed to keep them organized. Once the solenoids are removed, carefully inspect for swarf or debris on the solenoid screens. The solenoid shown has debris on the screen and will need to be cleaned. To remove any debris from the solenoid screen, use a small container of new transmission fluid and swirl the solenoid around in the fluid. Use only new transmission fluid to clean. The debris will fall out of the screen. Do not use brake cleaner, detergents, or brushes to clean as damage may occur. Working at the valve body, remove the 7T30 Torx ECU electrics plate fasteners. Lift the ECU electrics plate straight off the valve body. Note the range switch position when removing. Wipe down the valve body using a lint-free cloth. If needed, use new transmission fluid as a cleaner. Install the new ECU electrics plate at an angle and then lay flat on the valve body. Install the fasteners finger tight. Then, torque to 8 newton meters in a crisscross pattern. Reinstall the solenoids in the same locations they were removed from.
Install and torque the solenoid hold down brackets to 8 newton meters. Remove the valve body sealing o-rings and replace with new. When installing the new o-rings, coat them with new transmission fluid. Install the transfer tube into the transmission. The seal lip should face up. Before installing the valve body, note the part number for later use. It may be needed during coding or programming. Next, the valve body is installed. Check the position of the shift selector pin and align it with the shift selector in the valve body when installing. The pin should slide into the slot of the selector when installing. Push and hold the valve body flush against the transmission and install the new fasteners finger tight. Torque the valve body fasteners initially to 4 newton meters. Once torqued, tighten the valve body fasteners an additional 90 degrees. Snap the fill tube onto the transmission pan. Then install the transmission pan gasket.
Install the new transmission filter by pressing it straight up into the transmission. Hold the transmission pan in place. Install the fastener's finger tight. Then, torque the transmission pan fasteners to 4 newton meters. Once torqued, tighten fasteners an additional 180 degrees. Reconnect the Intelligent Shift Module ISM electrical connector by pressing it straight on, then sliding the lock up. Reassemble the Oxygen Sensor Electrical Harness mounting bracket and reconnect the Oxygen Sensor electrical connectors. That's the end of Step 2. In Step 3, we will begin the coding and programming procedure.